So fisher engineers and craftsmen put their heads together. This was the greatest individual step forward in motor car history. With all weather, comfortable driving now possible, the automobile surged forward in national popularity, becoming within a short span of years a necessity in American living. Throughout these years, millions of motorists in constantly increasing numbers began to look to Fisher as the leader in the parade of motor car progress. There was another objective that Fisher constantly sought, increased value through reduced manufacturing costs. Here again, Fisher made a major contribution. Hand working of metal was replaced by machines that with a single movement removed long, tortuous hours of human bending and pounding. As a natural step of progress, production line methods of efficiency brought down costs and added another rung to the automobile's ladder of popularity. Ventilation problems appeared early in fully closed bodies. Windows could, of course, be opened, but this caused a new problem while aiding in an old one. An open window caused uncomfortable drafts in cold weather. Fisher found the answer, and public approval was immediate. No draft ventilation became a must for all closed bodies, and Fisher continued to lead the way. Today's modern Fisher no draft venter panes assure every passenger of just the right ventilation to bring maximum comfort in any weather. And just as the early men of war were replaced by massive ships of steel, so Fisher turned to this means of adding greater safety to body by Fisher. The decision was revolutionary. The old fabric and wood roof would be replaced by a solid turret top of safe, sure, protecting steel. Plans were made and machines produced. Public approval of a new Fisher feature grew into a national demand. Everyone wanted the safety of a Fisher turret top. But Fisher didn't stop there. 